I'm Kaylee Weiss, driver of the number 77 Divix Excavating Pro Late Model. I race at Brighton Speedway in Brighton, Ontario, as well as different traveling circuits across Ontario, Quebec, and New York. Well, uh, yes, on Thursday I had the wonderful opportunity to race uh, Ashall for the first time and uh, we had some good laps. And then we had uh, right rear tire go down, and I have never spun so fast in a race car ever. I can certainly say that. It, I didn't expect it, and uh, so we ended up spinning out, hitting the wall, and I am now crowned uh, the first race 101 driver to wreck the house car. <laughs> Dubious distinction, but that wasn't the first trouble spot you had this season, showing the world your hands. Uh, <laughs> We're trying to hide it, yeah. Uh, we actually, we had a bit of a roller coaster season this year. We started out the season a little bit uh, rough. We had a car that we've been battling with for the last year and a half. I've tried all kinds of setups, so we threw a lot of money at it, and it never seemed to perform the way we had expected it to. Uh, it's sort of a blessing in disguise. We went to a World of Outlaw race, we got wrecked, and uh, we were then forced to change cars and chassis, which was a wonderful improvement to our season. Um, you know, all in all, we had a, a, a great year, uh, especially the latter part, and, uh, and I, I certainly have to thank Divots Excavating and Lucas Oil and Greg Bellier for putting me in that ride and supporting me for the latter part of this. Um, we had a lot of high points. We did a lot of community events, which I always enjoy. We probably went to about 25 community events, and because of that, we were able to attract a lot of media exposure. Um, also, we ran, uh, I created a Weiss Racing No Bull Anti-Bullying campaign, and so what we did was we sold bright pink anti-bullying t-shirts for $10 each, and I partnered with a number of my marketing partners as well as our home track, Brighton Speedway, and we were able to give the first 500 people to buy a shirt a free pass to the races on September 2nd, which was our anti-bullying day. So uh, we had the media present, and we had a couple camera crews and local newspapers, and we were able to get everybody together on the front straightaway with me in my car. And it was just a sea of pink shirts. And we were able to take a really cool crowd picture. So that was a, certainly a starting point. We sold 570 shirts. We sold it. We could have sold way more than we did. So that makes me very optimistic for next year where we will continue our anti-bullying campaign. Thanks.